it's April 23rd and I'm getting back into bees this year. Uh, it's been like three years since I've had bees and um, yeah, really was excited to get back into them. So um, I'm about to get them out of the truck and uh, I'm just gonna set them on the hive stands for today because it's kind of windy and only in the 50s and tomorrow's gonna be like in the 60s and a really nice day. So I'd rather not open them up when they're gonna be really mad at me. <laughs> and yes, even though they're closed up, I'm wearing my veil because I've been stung right between the eyes and had my eyes like almost swell shut. Shut up, Asia. I know you're laughing at me. Stop it. Stop it. I'm wearing my veil today. Okay, so there's a handful flying around outside. But here's the two boxes. These came from Better Bee. Um, I'm in no way advertising for them because this is the first time that I've bought nukes from them. Um, I've bought one queen from them uh, before and she did survive the winter. So uh, that's something for you. But uh, that's the only experience I've had with them for actually like buying bees you know, when the wind's coming up. So this is my truck and here's their setup over here. And here's where they're going to be living. Oh yeah. This is all just hay field over here. And across the road, there's a couple hundred yards worth of, of hay field. And on the other side, this hedgerow here is a brook. And then on the other side of that, there's more hay field. And then a horse farm on the other side of that, which they don't. Uh, they just brush hog once or twice a year for a bunch of their stuff that they don't pasture. So they got good place to live. And uh, I'm just gonna set them out on those stands and then uh, deal with them tomorrow. Okay. There we go. So there's a handful of girls that are hanging out in here. They just look kind of chilly. I'm just gonna leave my tonic cover up for the trip home and hopefully they will uh, fly out before we get home. Uh, <laughs> not because I don't like bees having them at home but because I have little helpers who are watching from the truck ever so patiently. <laughs> yeah, where's the other one? He in there? Ah, there he is. Ah! There's Clay. <laughs> All right, so they're chilling out in there. And then here's the setup. So a couple cinder blocks, one on each side, two big landscaping timbers. Um, Yes, they're definitely overkill, uh, but I have a whole bunch of them for free that I dug up from a place. So that's what I'm using because free is better than going to Home Depot for anything. So there, there's the two hives. I got entrance reducers in, there's extra frames in there and all that jazz. So they're all set for tomorrow. Um, actually, I don't know how many frames are in these new boxes. That's a good point. Huh. Looking at them, they don't really look like five frame to me. I've never gotten bees from this place and I've never seen these plastic ones, these plastic nuke boxes, so we will see. Uh, they keep crawling out, they keep crawling out the, um, the corners and stuff here. So they're not sealed up, sealed up, but they're definitely more contained than not being contained at all. I don't know. Not hugely thrilled so far, but I got entrance reducers on here and stuff already, and I've got five frames in each box. They've got honey in each box already from previous years. Um, yes, even though it's three years ago, the uh, honey will be fine for them to eat. They'll love it. Um, and they should come with stores in the boxes anyways, because right now there is like nothing for them to eat nectar-wise around here. Like nothing. Uh, so, but pretty soon there's a, this patch of stuff over here that looks kind of scrubby. In behind these big um, bushes that run along the brook, there's another open area behind there that's just all like wildflowers and stuff. So they like that. And that'll start to bloom here relatively soon. 
But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they do.